Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a quick video on how you could build a 12 volt battery using this 32700 cells. I actually have four cells. Uh, these are 6000 mAh uh, FB Tech uh, 3C cells. So let me just zoom that in. So these are lithium ion phosphate cells uh, and uh, these cells are 3Cs which is pretty good for electric vehicle or as well as solar. So I'm going to quickly connect these four batteries in series. So you also have this uh, cradle, uh, like a battery holder, which goes on top and with which you could place it together. And uh, these cells costed me around 145 rupees, excluding the GST. If you need them, I'll leave a link in the contact description uh, below. Along with that, you also need nickel strip with which you could spot weld and do a series connection. I'll quickly show you how I did the series connection. So the back, if you see, I already did a spot well just to show you how it looks like. So pretty much uh, you would need a good quality BMS as well. Uh, I actually have a 20 amp hour BMS. This is a lithium iron phosphate, 20 amp hour uh, 4S BMS. Uh, you, you can actually mount this and uh, I'm just gonna use a double sided tape and I'll place it behind the battery. And how do you series connect it? So you need to make sure that one of the cells is negative, like how I did it here. So the first cell is negative, positive, positive, and then negative. And then you just need to put the battery holder on the top, which holds everything in place. Now you got to do a series connection to each one. So considering that the first cell positive is that one. So from that cell, uh, you actually have to do a series connection to the second cell, so the negative, uh, would be connected with the positive of the first cell. Likewise, you just need to make a series connection and uh, You can actually use a good quality spot welder or a soldering iron would also work But I would prefer to do a spot weld because uh, soldering it would actually increase the temperature of the battery So here I have connected the spot welder to my inverter battery And let me set that in manual and let me put that in seven joules so I got this from Banggood. I'll leave a link in the description below. You could buy it from there, but you have to do certain mods, which I'll leave a link on the top. I have made a video on that. So you just need to hold the both the pins together and it would automatically do a spot weld. If you see a spark, that actually does a spot weld. So you see two dots on the nickel strip. Uh, so this pretty much is uh, how the spot welder works. So let me just do another spot weld. So you saw a small spark, right? So that's how the spot welder works. Spot welder are pretty good, pretty neat. And I would actually suggest you to get a spot welder instead of using a soldering iron. So now I did a spot weld along with that. What I did was I connected the BMS negative to a nickel strip and then I did a spot weld. So the reason why uh, you actually need to do a nickel strip is because you first solder it on the nickel strip and the heat is actually with the nickel strip and then you could spot weld it to the battery so that you do not heat up the battery and that would really damage it. So what I'm going to do is I did spot weld everything and uh, I have connected the BMS. So now I'll apply some Kapton tape and I'll do little cable management because you also need to connect the balancing cable. The balancing cable are pretty simple. The first, the black wire goes to the first cell negative and then the second wire goes to the first cell positive. The another second wire goes to the second cell positive. Likewise, all the, except the black wire, everything else goes to their respective positive side. And uh, let me just get the BMS wire connected. So I've got the BMS wire connected now. And uh, let me strip the negative wire out a bit. So guys, this is actually a portable power pack. Uh, you could use it for anything. Maybe you could use a buck converter and you could reduce the power if you want. And you can also use it as a portable adapter. So you have lots of options there. So let me just quickly show you. So if you see, I'm getting 12.88 volt, which is pretty good guys. So let me just put some cap on tape around it. Let me uh, make sure that uh, the uh, the terminals are insulated 
so i did apply a kapton tape and then to make it much more neater what you could do is uh, you could actually get a heat shrink uh, the tube and then put a heat shrink around it and you just need to shrink it and uh, it would be compact and it will look much neater and then at the end get an xt connector a uh, xt60 connector connected so that you could use it for anything so just to quickly demonstrate i have a 12 volt uh, halogen bulb so if you see it pretty much works So you could use this as a power bank, you could use it uh, to build a bed, bigger battery pack to make a power wall and uh, you have endless option guys. This is compact, neat and also it's a 3C discharge which, which is pretty good for that capacity. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, let me also test the uh, total efficiency of the battery. It, these are 6000 mAh. So now what I did was I connected the battery to the uh, capacity battery meter and uh, I did this test so if you quickly see here uh, right now it's blinking let me also turn off the flash and if you see the total discharge was at 6000 6000 mAh which is the rated capacity so the current voltage is at 12.60 and then total water was 75.73 so the rated capacity is 6000 and we did get 6000 out of it so Overall, in my opinion, the batteries are pretty good, guys. And if you need it, I'll leave a link in the description below. You could purchase it from there. And uh, if you need any suggestions, if you need any help, you could you could certainly join my Telegram page. I'm there to help you. So this is this is how we build our DIY community, where uh, we encourage people to build their own stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe to it. Thank you.